Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lona Boki. For those of you guys who have not met me yet, welcome guys to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time of day to actually come through and check out my content. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the red button um, down below. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and to just interact as well down below in the comments. For those of you that have been here on this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome yet once again guys so today i'm doing a video that is totally outside of my comfort zone i have never done something in this line before it should be very interesting because it's actually something that i want to do more often right um let me just double check the lighting i hope everything is fine i feel like clear right clear right i got it it's fine Okay, good, perfect, there we go. So today is going to be a very different video and I'm actually very excited for this, um, should I call it a niche <laughs> or should I rather call it a, one of the categories of my YouTube channel that I would like to um, introduce to you guys onto this channel. So. If you do follow me on Instagram, if you don't, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you possibly would have seen that I had started a 14-day challenge um, at the beginning of February and I finished it recently. So I would actually like to give you guys feedback so you guys also have a different perspective of how, um, you know, these quick challenges you could do to turn up here, to quickly touch up here and there how they work from a different perspective because most of the time online we do see results that are favorable <laughs> we do see results that are favorable and we don't see much of the results where it's like mm -mm, and maybe not maybe i should have tried this maybe i should have tried that so i want to bring that to you guys on the table based on my own personal experiences i did 14 days and it was so difficult for me guys, I won't lie. It was so, so, so difficult for me because I just um, started a new schedule. I just started a new schedule, so everything basically changed. And then having to incorporate something new, which is the 14 day challenge as well, was, was a lot, it was a lot. So I'm just looking for the page uh, where I know exactly what I did. And on what day? Perfect. Perfect. So I got what I was looking for. Alright, so let's get right into it, guys. Um, what I'll do is I'll, <laughs> if I do have the footage of that specific day, I will just um, put it up here or down here somewhere so that you guys can actually also see um, and kind of sort of as evidence as well, you know? So, just for an overall preview or overall round out a round up of the 14 day challenge um i used the let me show you guys um i did the daisy quiche bubble workout here we go so that's the video that i did and I'll link it down in the in the description down below. So the reason why I went for this um, workout particularly is because I saw a lot of positive and good reviews about it. Not only on YouTube, but on um, Instagram as well, on TikTok as well, you know. And not only specifically this exercise, but exercises that are similar to it that I saw people were getting really good results for. And as you know, I have lost a lot of weight in the past two years. And what I am actually trying to do is to work towards my desired um, body figure, body goals. So I looked at a couple of reviews of this daily quiche bubble butt workout. I checked my body type, well, people with similar body types as mine. Um, I checked all sorts of things and I found that this would be, and it's, I wouldn't say it's easy, it's definitely not easy. However, it is the most convenient 
in terms of time as well, which was something that was just very, it stood out for me because I don't like long exercises. I don't like exercising for long. I just want to get it done and do it and it's over and that's it. <laughs> and then take it next to the day because sometimes exercise isn't fun, guys. And that is the reality of things, especially when you're going to do something that's as repetitive as this one for 14 days completely right so on some days i think on two particular days i did not record yeah on two particular days i did not record and and some days like let's say for instance i just couldn't do it today i just really couldn't my schedule was tight then perhaps i'd do two tomorrow you know? and there was a specific day where i actually did or i attempted I tried to do three in one day, but I only ended up doing two in one day. And that's another side of fitness or exercise that um, not a lot of people show too much because honestly, really speaking, in these challenges that you do, it's a get up and go for, get up and go for, get up and go for type of thing in terms of fitness journey as a whole. But for me as well, in this 14 days, it was really just... Um, pick up where I left or do it but at the end of the day what matters is that I did the challenge and the challenge did what it could do <laughs> it did what it could do for me right so on day one um it was fun day one was fun day one was um, challenging looking forward to the new challenge i'm so excited i can't wait to see what this bubble butt workout from daisy Keach is going to is going to land me it was very exciting nonetheless it was very hard <laughs> it was very hard guys these exercises are nice and they're easy done individually however when they are put together in one it can a little bit and especially for someone like me guys i am not a fit person i am not a fit person i can deal with fitness in short um spans of time i can deal with fitness in very small increments but i can't deal with fitness for let's say for instance um having to run 400 meters no no no. i can win a race for 80 <laughs> for 80 meters or 100 meters but i'd never be able the longevity of fitness like it my, my my strength is not there yet you understand what i mean so day one was definitely hard for me so if you are like me someone who doesn't like exercising maybe that much or who doesn't because of circumstances then you're not going to struggle but it is going to be a little bit tough so kind of prepare yourself for that as well for that as well and then on day two again um i mean there's not much there's not much of a difference on day two right and then on day three i did not have any footage for day three it was during the low chain times um where my phone and my laptop and my camera everything was just flat because i wasn't even expecting load shedding at that specific time and then day four i only did half of the exercise so i think the exercise is about eight minutes and a couple of seconds so i only did half of the exercise which is about four minutes now corner when i did it it was an increment so i'd be busy with work i'd be busy with work and then if I have that five minutes and then I quickly go do that certain exercise. Um, then be busy with work and then like that. That's how I did it. So I didn't have time also as well um, to record. Yeah. So the other half of day four I did on day five. So what I would usually do if there were if there were days that overlapped, I'd finish the other one from the other day as early as possible in the morning and then the and then the later on in the day whether it's after work or after whatever i'm doing um i do the exercise for that actual day so in this instance day four the other half i did in the morning and then day five i did the evening if you get what i mean i hope i'm making sense guys um yeah also there's no footage for day for the other half of day four right and then day five things started becoming a little bit easier for the first half 
of the exercises because I started really enjoying these ones. Um, I'm not sure if this is the day where I modernized this challenge a little bit. There is a exercise that she does, which is the rainbow kick, right? Which is the rainbow kick. And I modernized that because I found that it really wasn't doing much for me. And I didn't know how to do it properly. It just wasn't working what it needed to work. It didn't give what it was supposed to give for me. So I chose an exercise, which I think you'll see. I don't know if it was on day four five or day six but one of those days i actually modernized the um, that exercise and i did the i don't know what you call those things but you lift your bum up you lay on your back and then you lift your bum up pull it down lift your bum up pull it down you'll see it <laughs> you'll see it in the videos down in the corners below on day six things started becoming simpler even in the second half day seven the same thing day eight the same thing but i did start getting busier though i think it was on day seven or eight seven between seven or eight yeah between seven and eight um also i did day six in day seven so yeah if you get me i did day six in day seven then on day nine i only did half of day nine right um on day 10 i did no exercises it was extremely busy then on day 11 i did the rest of day 9 the other half of day 9 and i did day 10 as well right so on day 11 i did half of day 9 and i did day 10 as well then day 11 i did on day 12 day 12 i did on day 14 day 13 i did on day 14 too so I, again on day 13 i did nothing so remember on day 10 i did nothing and then on day 13 i did nothing those weren't rest days at all guys those were just me being very busy so day 12 day 13 i did on day 14 and then instead of finishing my challenge on day 14 i finished it early the fifth on the 15th day so i did the 14th day on the 15th day and by this time guys i was just in lab, I was up to here with this exercise. <laughs> I was really just up to here because things were getting very hectic, and then at the same time, and then at the same time, this exercise was so repetitive, and yeah. So what I found with this exercise in terms of results, guys, is for me personally, in terms of a measuring tape. So let me get up and actually just measure for you guys. Like these ninety. Let me just check. It. 97. Ooh, you won't be able to see it down. 97. Let me show you guys. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, it's 96.5. 96 96.5, basically. So when I started this challenge, I was on 93 and a half, 94, right? And I really. I really thought that I wasn't going to get much, so I don't understand why it annoys me that I'm not getting much, but yeah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that much results, but so my bum or my hips, one of the two, and I'm suspecting it's my hips, it did grow by three and a half centimeters, which is good. Imagine if I had actually added more exercises, like more hectic exercises. I feel like this is a very nice exercise and it's a very nice challenge to warm up with. Um, however, if you possibly can add something else to it or uh, add more exercises, add more, um, what do you call it, add more weights, add more something, you'd most definitely get much, 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 much better results which is exactly what I will be doing afterwards. That is the challenge that I'm going to be doing next for you guys. I'm going to be doing a 14 day challenge where every day I record, um, or where every day I actually 
do a different exercise from a different a different personal trainer or blogger or just a normal person that I know who is into fitness. So I want to see, I'm excited, I can't wait to see how that is going to turn out. Definitely guys, I do see the faint results, even though it's not as much as I wanted. <laughs> I did say I wanted a BBL in 14 days. So I'm going to tell me why I don't have it. <laughs> anyway guys, um, so those are the results for me. Definitely do try it. Um, definitely even if it's not each and every single day one day skip a day one day skip a day one thing that i've learned about with this is that you need to customize it to best suit you and your body your schedule your life your routine and those types of things because the more the exercise blends into your daily and your lifestyle is the better you will get at it because you'll actually want to do it because it doesn't feel like an inconvenience do you know what i mean the minute gym starts feeling like an inconvenience you can't I don't want to do it anymore right so i actually decided to go ahead and put together pictures for you guys so you can get a more close-up of the actual differences side by side now in this picture specifically you can see in the hip area that there is a difference and then even though i didn't target it even on the stomach area i lost a few centimeters in this picture you can see that the hip dips are full in a bit and then again, you can see on the back that there is a bit of weight lost and the bum is lifted a bit, just a bit. <laughs> and then this is the picture that you see on the thumbnail. If this does not convince you to go ahead and try this challenge, honey, I don't know what will. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, if you'd like any more information on the challenge that I did, Please don't forget to comment down below in the comments. I know this is a short video. However, do look out for the next video, which is also another 14-day challenge, but just a different approach on it. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It's the red button. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to also comment down below in the comments, whatever it is that you like to comment. Thank you so much and have yourselves a good day further. Thank you, guys.